Okay, I know that you like these types of videos, so here we go. We are comparing a Gibson and a Martin. We're putting the two big vintage behemoths in the corner and letting them fight it out with these great small body guitars, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV, and my name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us on the webs at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. You turn on notifications by clicking on the bell icon. Uh, make your comments known on our videos of how great we are. And if you want to support our channel, visit our spring store linked in the description for custom swag and check out our podcast. It's the Fretboard Confessional. I know we haven't done some episodes. We've got some new ones coming out soon. So make sure you're subscribed so that you know when the they are available. It's Martin versus Gibson. I love doing these. They're always a bit divisive for all of the fanboys in the comments below. So get your keyboards ready and let me know what you think before I've even finished the video for some of you. For the rest of you, thanks for sticking around. And let me tell you what's going on today. We're looking at two small body guitars from Martin and Gibson. I've got a 0018 on one side and an L00 on the other side. You already picked up on something, hopefully, if you've been paying attention and you were able to follow context clues in school, and that is that double O is in the name of both of them. Isn't that great? Let me tell you what else is similar about these guitars other than double O and the fact that they're small body. They are both spruce and mahogany guitars. I know you can't really tell with this one because it's a painted all black, but uh, it's made just like this as far as the tone woods go. So I wanted to do this comparison because I thought it'd be a fun way of looking at the differences of what a builder brings to the table and how these two great uh, and historic guitars compare today. Um, now, we did another video on this channel, which you might know about if you're subscribed, um, and that is comparing this, a 0018, with a 0028 from Martin. That was equally fun because in that case, they're basically the same guitar with different tone woods, and you can hear the difference between them in that video. Now, it's the same tone woods with different builders. And so what's at play here is the difference in the design, both with the bracing, the scale length, and the body shape, and what that ends up doing to the overall tone. So let's talk about the 0028 first. Martin Guitars, built in Nazareth, PA, features Honduran, uh, Honduran mahogany back and sides and a Sitka spruce top. Ebony bridge, binding 24.9 inch scale length, which makes it a little bit longer scale length than the L00, which we'll get into. Um, it features their scalloped bracing, uh, typical of the size, it's quarter inch width, um, and has open back tuners and really just a great lustrous uh, nitro finish that's on it. It's a fantastic guitar. One and three quarter inch nut width, which is also a little wider than the Gibson. So if you're taking notes at home, longer scale length, wider nut, and it's a slightly bigger body. So, you know, they're both called L00s, but if you haven't noticed so far, this one, it has a tighter waist to it and just different lines. Do you know why? Because this one's a Gibson and this one's a Martin. So that's the specs on the L double or the 0018. There we go. The L double O comes in two finishes, by the way. This is black. There's also a vintage sunburst that's available. I think both are killer. The black with the tortoiseshell pick guard is kind of cool. Um, maybe a little vintage sinister going on. I don't know. But let's talk about the construction. So again, Sitka spruce top, Honduran mahogany back and sides, scallop spruce bracing. Pretty similar so far. Scale length's a little bit shorter, 24.75 inches as opposed to 24.9, which if you have been paying attention and taking notes at home for the last few years, you'll recognize as the same scale length as a Gibson Les Paul. Look at that. By the neck, the, the neck feels kind of in the same shape as a Gibson Les Paul as well. The bridge on this is rosewood, and so is the fretboard as opposed to ebony. It's a little bit of a softer wood. I would expect that to show up more in wear than in tone over time. Uh, if you can hear the tonal difference between ebony and rosewood, my hat is off to you. Um, but the fact that it's got a shorter scale length and really just Gibson style of bracing and body shape is going to influence the sound of this guitar more so than I think the rosewood. By the way, it's softer than ebony, but I really wouldn't worry about rosewood wearing on you over time unless you just have a death grip on the guitar, in which case we should be talking about technique rather than specifications on the guitar. Um, they're both great to play. They both came with wonderful action setup. They both come with hard shell cases and they are both currently the exact same price at $27.99. That price is subject to change. 
which you should be familiar with for the last few years. So check our website, alamomusic.com, to make sure that the pricing is still $27.99 or it might have gone up from there. Maybe it went down. I'm not going to hold my breath. So I'm going to hold the, uh, take these both through a demo so you can hear for yourself the, the, the differences between the tone on these guitars, and we'll talk about the surprising effects on the other side. Check it out.
All right, there you have it. Hopefully in your mind, you've already made a determination on these two guitars. You have in your mind an idea of which one you prefer and the tonal characteristics of that. Lock that in, okay? Um, what was that show? Who wants to be a millionaire? Go ahead and lock in that answer. Uh, now I'm going to tell you what I think. So we did a comparison with this 0018, as I said uh, earlier, with a 0028. And that was a surprising comparison to me because it really showed the warmth that you get out of mahogany and the articulation and brightness that you get out of rosewood to go with the bass and the overtones that rosewood's known for. Today we're comparing two mahogany and spruce guitars and it was equally surprising. The 0018 from Martin to our ear, both me and Josh behind the camera, Mansquatch agrees that this guitar is less articulate than the L00. Now, why is that surprising? I've said on this channel that the Gibson is known for having a bit of like a lo-fi aspect to it, where there's kind of this thumpy bass that you get on most Gibson acoustic guitars. Now, it's not 100% uh, across their lineup, but a lot of famous models tend to have that. In this comparison, this was more lo-fi. Not in a bad way, in a very pleasing way, I like the 0018 sound, but it was kind of surprising because if we trade off the 0018 for the L00, what we get is a slightly narrower, slightly smaller, slightly slinkier Gibson guitar that is a little brighter and a little bit more articulate than the 0018. So that's what I heard. I'm curious, let us know in the comments if that's what you heard. Takeaways from these, they both play great. Um, I tend to prefer a wider nut width, one and three quarter inch on the Martin, uh, but I was comfortable on the L00. Let that be a lesson. Don't get so wrapped up in specifications because when we're talking about things like nut width, the thing, things like action and radius and uh, neck profile all play into that. It's not a single measurement. It's a compound measurement of things that determines whether or not you're comfortable playing. So I really liked the scale length of this. I really like the lightness of it. The only knock that I will say against this is that I don't like the way the tuners feel on the L00. There's nothing wrong with how they feel. They're not messed up. They're not uh, popping or anything like that. They're very nice, smooth geared tuners. Um, and I don't know what brand they are. They're not marked Grove or anything, but they're definitely vintage style tuners. They're both vintage style tuners, both open gear. Uh, but these plate style tuners that are on the Gibson, they, they feel a little stiffer when tuning. That was it. Um, it was very accurate. It was very smooth. There's just more resistance in turning the knob compared to the Martin. And uh, I didn't like that. But that was it. That was the only knock that I could give this guitar. Um, and, and again, it was surprising that it was a little bit more brilliant while still having that nice, rich mahogany mid-range. In fact, we were kind of joking, uh, Man Squatch and I, that uh, it was like mahogany met rosewood. This is, there's something kind of going on with this guitar. So very cool, very surprising. I like it a lot. These two guitars are fantastic if what you like to do is sit down with an intimate uh, feeling guitar and play finger style stuff or very light strumming but particularly if you like kind of bluesy stuff, I dig these guitars. Which one would I pick? I don't know. I really am liking the L00. It's surprising to me. I thought the Martin would be a little bit brighter than the Gibson. So, you know, maybe that's why you don't make assumptions and you try out different guitars and you find what suits you and what speaks to you. I would take both of these guitars, honestly, and I'm a huge fan. I've been on record of saying of the triple O 18. Um, I'd probably like the versatility. I, I feel like the Martin is going to give you a little bit more, but this had some more volume right out of the gate. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take both. They both have hard shell cases. They're both the same price. It's a tough, tough thing. I'd like to know your opinion because I really, honestly, wouldn't be able to choose. If someone gave me you know, $27.99 plus tax uh, right now and said, hey, you can have either of these guitars, I, I don't know which one I'd pick. So maybe pick for me. Let me know in the comments which one your ear liked best and aesthetically which one you like um, because they're both fantastic guitars from great builders. I'm excited that both these companies are still around making great guitars. Um, so let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and keep coming back for more.
and we'll see you next time.